What's up everyone, Steven here with Neural DSP, and today I want to talk to you about dual tracking guitars, quad tracking guitars, and the pros and cons of either technique. Let's dig in. So here's the question, why would we want to quad track our guitars? The main purpose of this is that the more guitars you have in a section, the thicker your tone will be during the final mix. Now this really comes in handy if you want to give your chorus more weight or a hook riff more punch. One of the main drawbacks for quad tracking guitars is that you have to be an incredibly tight guitar player to do so. Otherwise, you're going to be spending a lot of time editing your guitars. And I say this because when you record, there will always be some small amount of imperfection. And that's what makes the tracks feel human. So when you start introducing more guitars to the mix, and if it's a particularly complicated or fast rhythmic section, those imperfections start to compound on themselves and they become way more apparent as you listen back. So of course there are always exceptions to the rules. And one of the best examples that I can think of is Vogue from Decapitated. In my opinion, he's one of the best guitar players in metal, so he has absolutely no trouble quad tracking any of his rhythm guitars, despite being a technical death metal band. And that's not to say that you should be quad tracking every rhythm either. Like any recording technique or production technique, it should be used to service the song. There'll be times when dual track guitars are more appropriate because of the clarity of the notes being played. And then there's other times quad track guitars are gonna be better because of the punch and emotional weight that you can get with just a massive wall of sound. As you may have guessed, I'm a huge fan of Decapitated and Vogue as a player, and I wrote some Decapitated-esque riffs for this example. So this first section is a syncopated riff with a lot of triplets and some odd time signatures. The second section is more open, more chordal, and generally just wanted to be a lot louder and bigger than the, than the first. As you probably noticed, I didn't consolidate any of the clips because I really wanted you to see just how hard I have to edit some of these takes just to make sure that they are in line with the grid and tight to the groove. So to my ears, the quad guitars were definitely far thicker than the dual track guitars, but it didn't really help it in that first section actually, because there was a little bit more of a buildup in the high mids around where the pick tends to live, as well as like around 300, 350 hertz. There was a little bit too much kind of flubby guitar that I didn't particularly like, because the dual guitars actually is, sounds tighter in that first section uh, than the quad track guitars. Now you get to the second section and the dual track guitars just don't have as much low end punch as the quad track guitars. Now, so these are things that you want to look out for as far as like frequency buildups can be good or bad depending on the composition and what you're trying to go for. Now an example of having dual tracked and quad track guitars separated into section by section, let's take a look at what would happen if I were to mute the A section on the quad track guitars and the B section in the dual track guitars. So that way we have a natural dynamic buildup over both sections. And I like the way that that actually has a really big impact towards the end. You get this wall of guitar kind of sound for what would probably be like the chorus section of the song. And you still maintain the clarity and some of the aggression in that first section by only having two guitars because you don't have too many buildups of that imperfections I was talking about earlier. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know if you prefer the quad or dual track guitars. And as an added bonus this week, I had a friend of mine, Jason Williams from Delphian, come in and play some lead guitars. Enjoy.